do have some retail experience, but enough to know that seven hundred fifty thousand you're not getting from me. Twenty percent is fine. All right, we'll just do a mock rehearsal ready when you are. I don't know how to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're making. Okay, why are you recording? <laughs> Prices across all stores. Uh, it's right later with the camera stuff recorder. What is it? Uh, it's supposed to be like a some kind of app that uses the the camera and the microphone on your device, whatever. So if someone really speaks to you in a different language, you can convert that language and you can start with whatever other language. Yeah. All right, who's uh, who's the CEO? What do you have here? You got spent two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> get. What? 50% off. That's just a deal. That's just a marketing. That's not an actual app. Unless it's like a discount app or something. Is that what you mean by that? Your app gives discounts? Yeah. Uh, similar to uh, Groupon. Yeah, something like that. Action. Greetings. <laughs> we have a uh, presentation right here that's about uh, translations and you can uh, translate anything you want. To. I'm Monique. These are my partners. We did Tyler Clinton. Oh. And we have an app called Design It Yourself Clothing. Yeah, good morning, this is uh, my team here. It's Ryan, Josh, and Creed. My Linden. So the way the app works is you get a clothing or a piece of, I guess, any kind of clothing, shoes, pants, whatever, on the app. It'll be floating there. So you, I guess you'd use your fingers to like just move it around. Kind of like this, right? Let's go check. My name's Darius. This is uh, David and Alvin. I am the representative for uh, <clears throat> the Pot of Gold dispensary slash coupon. For a disclaimer, all of our products are for medical use only. We started off as a uh, as a uh, coupon industry, similar to honey. You don't know where to go for hunting? There's an app for that now. So at the bottom of the screen, you would have all these options of like designs, uh, pictures, colors, anything you want. And you can have a text, speech, and language correction. You walk into a dispensary, you see that ounce, 200, pull up our pot of gold app, then it'll cycle which one, which coupon gives you the best deal. Then, then you show the coupon to the, to the bartender, then they scan it, then that $200 ounce will be like 120. For example, see that picture? I can. Take a picture? Yes. Come on, like exit. We currently have a deal going on right now for the next seven days. So if you spend $250 on your first order, you get 50% off off your next order. If you have medical problems like PTSD, depression, or insomnia too. And this concludes our uh, presentation for the Pot of Gold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We'll get feedback after this. Okay. Great. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Just do it. Just commit. She's all right. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're doing good. All right. You're stable. Come, stay over here where it's shallow. Then. You're ruining my picture. <laughs> So David is going to be the one talking the numbers? Yeah. <laughs> is he, are you sure he's going to be okay with that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Basically just forced him to do this. Remember this, Darius? 
I'm still trying to come up. Okay. <laughs> Pretend this is on your phone. <laughs> okay, so this is what we see on our smartphone. Okay, yeah, first. And then you click this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bam. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Okay. So it's a charter company based out of Round Lake. I'm pretty sure they use the same formula. So my okay. Well, you should be able to put a lot of information, oh, interesting yeah, points yeah. for us then. The business yet? Not yet. Do you need help or are you going to be at, you need some help? Okay. Okay, so this is your idea. If you can just kind of in a quick point form really, really fast, mm -hmm. what, what you think you guys are going to be talking about and why you chose the company you did. Oh. Hello, hello. Hi. Well, you're doing a case study on the business, right? Yeah. So you're not necessarily selling anything. You're more educating us on the business itself. Who did you guys do your case study on again? And how are you going to be making your presentation? Who's going to be saying what? We're doing a presentation on MPO, the owner of that store. Oh, you gave him a call? No, I chatted to him. She, she on Facebook or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Excellent. So you were able to just get a lot of the information really quickly. Still trying to figure out, like, it's mostly just like, Small trivial facts. I don't think we got any history on it that much other than, than when it was formed and what it was formerly known as. Basically, we just talk about how many stores there are. We're doing red stores. We're doing oh, my whole story in a red deals gas station. Maybe is there something recent going on? Can you give us an update on how COVID has affected them at all? Do you know? We chose the business, the Wells Crew. Mm -hmm. It is a family-owned business mm -hmm. of four. Mm -hmm. There's a husband, a wife, and two teenage boys. Mm -hmm. And they also have a little daughter. And just hiding her face. Look at her. Look at Jenny. Look, I'm gonna put the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera so you can see who that is. You just hiding. Dun dun dun. Why are you dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> Cause this is your theme music. <laughs> that was your entry theme music. Hey, what up? What up? All right, so where are we at? What do we got? So did you guys get any new things? Tell us what you're doing, what's going on, how are you going to present? Um, okay, he's going to start it. Okay, he'll start it? And I don't know how to end it. Okay, so how is your, how is your intro going to be? What are you going to do in your introduction? Um, so what name do you think you're going to go with with your business? Up north. Because it's for our business up north. <laughs> so you just, just straight simple, straight to the point. Up north? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the dress rehearsal room. They're about to go live. I just wanted to thank everybody for participating before you do your presentation to everyone. My name is Lindbergh. I'm Josh. And I'm Chastity. And I'm Adam. And we, we are, are the Dream Team. team. <laughs> <laughs> um, today we're asking for $60,000 in exchange for 15%. 15. Okay. As an indigenous gamer, it's, uh, it's pretty rare to come across another indigenous gamer due to the vast size of the game community. It's pretty big. And um, when we do come across one another, it's always a good time. We always have fun, make friends. And um, it's rare to come across that. Which is why we've come up with a website or service that will allow players to uh, connect with one another across multiple platforms. Whether it's it a what service, sorry? A website or a service. This service is called Native Games. And the way it works is that uh, users will register using their uh, real names and emails. And they'll have the option to create a nickname with their own gamer tag that they use online. Which will allow other players to find them and they can play together. The way it's going to work is that players are going to connect their accounts. Say they'll have a PS4, Xbox, whatever they have. They're, they're going to connect on their website, mobile, PC, PS4, and Xbox supported. We will be using a forum style format for each individual game. And at the time, it's being prioritized. Priority. 
prioritize for what? With more games being supported as the service grows, this will allow players to connect, stay in contact with one another, to discuss, to like have a discussion, share their gameplay. We made our own virtual currency called Deadly Points. Uh, with DPs, you can use them by entering in tournaments, which are hosted multiple times a week on all platforms and games, where you can buy emblems, banners, and badges. You can purchase these in a variety of ways, which include credit, debit, PayPal, Visa, and even Bitcoin. With your investment, we, we will be able to focus on on making the necessary purchases. I have a question. Um, do the members, is there a membership fee or a sign up fee? No, it's completely free. So it's free to all the users? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how are you making your money? With well, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. With the online virtual currency daily points, like you can like um, purchase a certain amount. So, like, um, so your profits are only coming from the deadly points? The deadly points? Within the gaming community, say like us, like my own little group, we have a solid group and if what, there was... How many numbers? What's the numbers? How many are in the group? Right now? We're just starting out. This is just a concept. So this is for indigenous people to connect with other indigenous people. Yeah. Yeah. Is it open to non-indigenous people? No. In my community, there's at least one console in every household and to every household there's at least three kids and I'm sure there'd be more <coughs> if they could afford it. Do you know what your costs are for the servers and the maintenance? Mm -hmm. The way it's going to work is that players will have to pay an entry fee, eh? And to when, go into a tournament? Yeah. So what would that fee be? Well, it all fee? depends on the skill and size of the tournament and the game itself. Cause there's so each games. time it's going to be a different cost to join a tournament? Yeah. So yeah. It's usually five give bucks. me an example. Five bucks to enter a 100 player tournament for PUBG. Okay. And that's how we would be making our money, is taking percentages off those prize pools. People will be able to collect their deadly points and then we have the option for them to cash out, which is, you know, that's going to be great. If that was available to me already, I'd be doing it. They can <coughs> cash out their deadly points yeah. and get their money back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there goes your profit? No, we take, collection, we take percentage before they can cash out, out of the tournaments. And when they purchase the deadly points too. Numbers you're giving, how you're going to make a profit. And I'm not a gamer, so for me, I'm out. I respect that. Um, what's the 60000 for? That's to build a... That's to purchase all the equipment. The uh, server. Yeah. Your development team. Hmm. <clears throat> I get you're trying to create a safe platform for, especially for our youth, our indigenous youth. I'll support you. <clears throat> 60,000 for 50%. 15. 60,000 for 15%. Oh, I thought you said 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm a little concerned that there's not enough specific numbers. I like the idea of it being exclusive for First Nations, quite frankly. Um, I think that that does make people feel they're in a safe environment. I don't see anything about that being discriminatory. However, I want to know how many First Nations, what are the ages that people are on these on these uh, websites. I'd like to know the number of First Nation people that are potential customers. I'd like to know how long the average person stays connected with a particular website. I'd like to see more research on that. Um, so. You know, with not having really good numbers there, um, I'm out. Thank you. So, the question is, do you are you gonna work with Gordon, or are you just gonna? Yeah, we'd be happy to work with Gordon. I think. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Here is the prototype of our app. Take a look at it. Okay, focus on the main page. This is the main page for it. This is the main page. Um, <laughs> you could choose between cakes, cupcakes, cookies, or pastries. And say you want to design your own cake. So you would click the cake button or swipe it to the next page, which is this one right here. It is start creating your own cake. You see, the plate is empty because <laughs> you didn't choose anything yet. And your first step would want to be your size, slash shape, I guess. And then color, there's going to be many colors, colors of the rainbow. Different flavors like chocolate, vanilla, coconut, cotton <gasps> candy. And fillings like raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, or apple. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, different decorations. And you could upload a picture to your cake. You want this button here? So when you start creating, you would want to pick your size first. And right here, you could choose between rectangle or circle. There's different sizes with the prices on it. And then. These minus and plus signs are for like how many layers you want. So you could add like a layer or subtract it. And for your decorations on this page we have sprinkles. Same thing, you could add or subtract with the prices. And this is where you would upload your picture to the cake. And the cost is under there too. So say you added a couple layers, that's what this is. And then you add your decorations and stuff. And then you click check out. Last page. This is how your cake would look when you're done. Yeah, it'll show you a picture. And then your order summary at the bottom <coughs> with everything you got. And then you click pay. So since we started this business, uh, we've been making 5% more. Increase. Oh, increase. Each one. What are your sales to date? What? Your sales <laughs> to date? How much have you sold since you started? When did you start? Um, I, ca I can't memorize it, but I have it written down. So monthly sales would be a total of $4,850. $4,850? Yes. That's just is that that's sales or is that pro your profit? That's like... For the, the whole, I mean, sorry. Sales. Is that sales. sales? So what was your, what's your profit a month? What, what's your monthly profit? A dollar. <laughs> a dollar. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> We're asking for $50,000. And then you guys would get 10%. 15000 would go to equipment and supplies. Um, 20000 would be broken down for our annually rent and then five thousand would go to delivery charges and the website rent. How about we give you a couple minutes so you can do the math and let us know what your monthly profit is? Because I ne really need to know what your profit is okay. at this point. <laughs> when you started and what your profit is right now. I don't know. We didn't think that far. <laughs> uh, okay, I have a couple other questions too. Um, now your payment. How are you, what are you accepting? Are you accepting Visa or is it just debit? It's uh, credit and debit. Credit and debit. What are your cost? What are your Visa percentage costs? Uh, do you know if you have debit costs? I don't even know what that is. Debit costs. Like someone every time someone uses the machine, oh, there's oh. a percentage that has to be paid to the the company that supports the that bank. machine. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. Know. Yeah. Okay. So, and your target market, who is your target market? Uh, Northern Communities. Okay, so delivery, um, how, are you, how are you getting them there? We partnered with North Star and Perimeter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we get a special rate, so 50% off shipping to each community. So your cost for the cake, they do not include delivery, right? No. Delivery is extra? Yes. No, it's built in here. Look. The, where was it? Twenty dollars for shipping. Oh, yeah. Okay. But if they had added another cake on here, the shipping charge is still only twenty dollars. No. Oh yeah, it's still only twenty bucks. Yeah. 
Okay, and the cake itself, it'd be, what, are these homemade cakes or using cake mixes or? They're homemade. homemade. They're homemade? So all? Everything is homemade. Okay, and you're making them where? We're making them at our house. That's why we need a loan for, to get more space. Because you want to expand. Yeah, and we're growing. We're getting a lot of orders. And we got little space right now. I know that on Facebook, when I see someone post that they've made something, they've made a turkey dinner, or they've made pies, or whatever, they're sold out immediately up north. So I, I like this idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Um, I love the customiza customization, and I would be willing <coughs> to go to, to give you the money, but I need to know your profits. So I... I you want to just take a look at the cake itself, the summary. So one cake is going to end up costing you $121, is that correct? Yeah, that includes decorations with it. Okay. Pretty much the norm up north. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you based out of? Sulaco. Sulaco. So you're not up in the communities? No. Okay. So what you're asking for though doesn't come up to 50000 What's the remainder of the money going to go to? Are you guys developing a website or an application? An app. An app. An app. Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs>
everybody loves potatoes with their fish and their moose. You know. So I would focus on one product, potatoes. And what do you need to send hundred fifty thousand dollars for? <clears throat> the seven hundred and fifty thousand will also go toward uh, transport transportation of materials. It will also go to the uh, the building of these materials. So we've actually partnered with Polar Industries to ship materials from Winnipeg through the all-season route up north. What is the cost just to build one greenhouse? Do you know that? About $75,000. How much is a 10-pound bag of potatoes at the Northern store? That question is to our, to our financial manager. Fifty pounds is um, ten pounds. He said ten pounds. So that's twenty. So with Fish Hooks Investments, we aim to decrease these prices by fifty percent. I'm not. I'm not really a retail guy. I have no expertise to offer you. Um, I'll have to say I'm out. Sorry. Uh, I think your numbers are way too high. That's 750000 I'd like to see what other kind of partners that you could put in place. I'd be willing to give you 75000 <laughs> but not 750000 Because you're saying 75000 would give you a greenhouse, plus, plus, you know, plus you're, you're going to need supplies and all that sort of thing. Um, some other startup funds, which I think you can uh, apply for a different kind of monies for that. I do have some retail experience, but enough to know that $750,000 you are not getting from me. 20% <laughs> is high, quite frankly. I would give you $75,000 for fifteen. I love the I love the idea, but it, like you said, it's too much money, and you don't know about the water plant, so you're telling me you haven't done your research. Um, I'd say come back again when you know the exact cost and if the water plants can support this. I grew up in Terrace Bay and the mill ran on steam and they used all the steam to heat all the public buildings and some of the houses originally when they start. So I know that it can be done. Uh, then they stopped using it and now they want to do it again so it's expensive to put pipes back in. So it's it's a great idea. It can be a viable plan for you. Seventy five thousand for fifteen percent of your business. Seventy five thousand for fifteen percent. Yeah. All right. Let's just talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> but good job. Thanks. All right. All right. All right. I'm thinking of starting like a label in a school, so like if anybody has an interest in music or they already have music going on, they can sign and if the, they're new to music, they can take the school and throughout the, two, throughout the two weeks we can work with them and see if they can expand their music stuff and like creativity, business and all that. So, if they make the two weeks and they make a good impression, we'll, we'll send them to the label. And then after that label, we can work for them for a whole year and uh, see if we can expand their career. And if they don't, they get the boot. <laughs> <laughs> so, a school, do you, do you mean starting up a music school? Or Something just like that, just uh, based on lyrics and business, that's it. Rap or hip hop? Those are the only two genres you're going to work with? Rap and hip-hop? Well, that's, uh, there's room to expand and we can expand. And how much are you asking for? Well, the whole thing costs up to $9,000. I'm uh, thinking of uh, 15, 15,000 $15, for, like, if anything breaks, you can just buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know. Like, so, 15000 goes to what? What's your breakdown for the 15000 Well, uh, I'm buying a three-set... So it's like a three three MacBooks, which I added up to forty five hundred. 
and uh, three microphones, which were 900 each or something. So I mean, uh, not 900. Well, it adds up to 900 anyway, and uh, a keyboard, three keyboards each, which will add up. I forgot, but it all adds up to 9,100. What's the remaining money for? Uh, just uh, like if any of those break, we can just like get a new one just in case. Contingency. Con yeah, contingency. Okay. Um, where are you doing this out of? It can be anywhere, like uh, it can be on the road or in my basement, uh, anywhere, anywhere to set up. We'll but you said they're gonna, you're going to take someone on for two weeks yes. and then up to a year if you sign them. So where are you going to record and work with them? Maybe recording that part, that recording will probably be in the basement. It's a room. The basement of a room? <laughs> yeah, we start off somewhere. <laughs> So your profits would come off the artists that you yes, sign? Uh, and if uh, they make profit, then yeah. And what percentage do you take of them, from them? Uh, probably say average, average takeoffs would be like 20%. 20%? Um, you know, the, uh, <coughs> there, there are funding programs out there for these kind of programs. For example, the Northern Ontario, you know, the uh, Ontario Children Foundation, they give grants to uh, people to, uh, and organizations to pursue these kind of ideas. Uh, <clears throat> I don't see uh, any return <clears throat> for my investment, um, so I'm going to have to say uh, no. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> I, I'm out. I know nothing in the music <laughs> industry whatsoever. I wouldn't be your best partner. Yeah, and I, I have to sort of go with what Gord said. I don't see where I would get our, my money back. How yeah. how am I going to get my money back? Uh, that's what I thought of. Like, I wouldn't say it was free, but like, there's only like three takes per person. Like, you know, about how, how I said there's only three stuff each. So it wouldn't be an easy program to get into, and it'd be a thousand dollars each. They have to pay to get into your program. Otherwise, they can get a funding in if they want. It depends on how educational it is. So, because I'm confused, because if you're going to sign them. Usually, when an artist is signed, the label pays. Them. Well, that's uh, that's the that's for the music school. If they want to take the school away. Oh, so with the school, they pay a thousand dollars for two weeks. You said? Yeah, like with the computers and the software, and they can work with us. But if they want to sign with the label, they can sign with the label. Two weeks. Can you see what I mean there? Yeah. Well, if I'm going to be out a thousand by going to school, but I can sign with you, and the label usually pays their artist to sign. The, then I'd want to sign with the label. The, the, the stuff provided comes with a thousand. The equipment? They get the So there's, this so there's no guarantee that after the two weeks your label will sign that, right? Yeah, I mean, like if they bust their ass off, then yeah. It wouldn't be an easy program or easy signing. Well, I love your ambition. I, I <laughs> like the song. But again, Variety. I still don't see where I'm getting my money back, so I have to. Buy a track. Oh, I'm sorry. Just myself. <laughs> All right, so you didn't get anything from anybody. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks for your time. <laughs>
five for forty bucks, and that comes up to five hundred sixty dollars a day. Service, yeah. And what are your costs on that? Forty dollars. How much? Forty dollars. Forty dollars is your cost, and you're making five hundred sixty dollars a day. Fourteen to fifteen pizza a day. So you're <coughs> making profit of five twenty a day. That before you pay yourself. Or we sell the pizzas for forty dollars. Oh. Yeah, for forty dollars. Sell the pizzas for forty. And you're and you're selling fourteen to fifteen pizzas a day. Yeah, yeah. and then that comes up to like five hundred sixty dollars in sales. Within our first month, we should have a gross estimate amount of six thousand dollars in profit. So five sixty a day. How much is it costing you? What are you deducting for <coughs> the production of the pizza? We have it all written down in there. Um, okay. Maybe you could share it, then we can write it down. <laughs> is it a secret? So go with the first month. The first month. Yeah. Well, did you make any profits in the first month? Yeah. What was your profit? $6,180. And that's before salaries? That's after salaries. After salaries. After so salaries. you've already paid for the, the ma Our, materials you needed, yeah, your rent, the charge, expenses. charter. And that. this is your profit really? after yeah. one month? Yeah. Um, where are you getting your supplies from? Wholesale, wholesale. Okay. Yeah. That's Thunder Bay. We do two charters every month. How much does the charter cost? And I know the answer to this, so be careful. Two thousand one hundred sixty. No, there's no way you'd get a charter from Thunder Bay to Sandy Lake for two thousand dollars. <throat> you wouldn't even get the Sula Goat right. on a charter. On a charter. So are you getting a charter, or are you sending it as freight? Um, freight. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, freight. Yes. Yeah, we have a driver in Thunder Bay that sends, puts it on a plane and sends it up. And are you paying that driver? Yes. Yep. So if you, if you are, by my estimates, if you're doing, say, 14 pizzas a day, and you sold 14 pizzas every day for a month, you made $17,360. But your profit was sixty one eighty. so where did that money go to? You could take 2000 so you said twice a month you bring in, so four thousand for shipping. Yeah. One, three, three, six, zero. So that's thirteen. Thousand. What are you paying yourselves for salary? I imagine your salaries are coming out of this. Are we paying ourselves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take it from him and read it, somebody. <laughs> yeah, we're paying ourselves. We, we uh, all three of us. We've got wages for all three of us. So what are you paying yourself per day? Minimum wage for owners. So, oh, yeah. oh so you're minimum taking work. minimum wage for like eight hours a day? Yeah, we're all owners, so. Okay. And who has uh, the pizza experience? Like experience as a cook? Who's making the pizzas? Uh, all, of us. all of us, we all make the pizza. Okay. We, all, we all learned as, okay. as we went. And how about insurance? Do you know what your cost per Insurance liability, if food poison somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, honestly. What would stop somebody else from duplicating your business? What's your competitive advantage? So we're kind of like Little Caesars, hot and ready. Okay. And we deliver. Oh. Do you hire someone to deliver or are you delivering it yourself? <coughs> There's three of us working in the shop for this, so one of us can deliver. One of you goes in. Oh, Is this our sample? <laughs> oh, look at oh, that oh, That's just our options. Yeah. We only have two options. Pepperoni and cheese. Oh, right. Now you just, that's it? Yeah. So are you planning on expanding the menu? Yeah. Yeah. Kiwiwin is a very small community. Why would you not expand to like Deer Lake instead of Kiwiwin? Because we could use the same charter. It's right across the lake. Okay. Just bo okay. boat, it, boat it across. Crust, like a uh, uh, thin crust, regular crust, any options for gluten free with for people uh, that have allergies? We make it off of Bannock, right? Bannock. Oh, it's Bannock. These are Bannock pizzas? These are Bannock pizzas. Oh, okay. 
Well, now I want to try it. Now I want one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, 25. So what do you need 25,000 for? <laughs> Buy a new building in Kiwewa, or build a new building in Kiwewa. It's pretty much just to get us going like right away in Kiwewa. So that that twenty five thousand is for expansion into Kiwewa, yeah. basically. Eh? Yeah. And who's moving to Kiwewa? Uh, we're going to hire one extra worker, and then it will be two and two. So again, fellas, if you're going to expand, I and and you're going to hire someone to run that, so you're starting almost like a, a chain. Yeah. Is that your dream, just to have a chain? Uh, we hope to turn this pizza shop into a franchise. Okay, okay. so a franchise. So, personally, if I'm going to start a second business, I'm not going to go to the small one of the smallest communities. I'm going to go to the next largest. What's, what's stopping you from going to a larger community and <coughs> hiring people in that community? Uh, where your profit margin would be up. We'd have to hire two extra workers, or maybe even three extra workers, and then... We'd have to more charters, more food going the other way. It's just. But your profit margin would be higher. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I'll the community it. of 500 people versus a community of over 3,000 people. Well, his he lives in Wanamin, and hopefully we expand all the way to Wanamin. So then why don't I just I I'm interested. <clears throat> I like I like I like the I love the pizza. I think you have a really good idea. <clears throat> And I, I'd be willing to go in, but I, I, if you're going to franchise, then you franchise to a bigger opportunity, not a smaller one. I feel like you're taking a step backwards in your business plan by going to a smaller community. Yeah, we just looked at it about the same charter. That's just how we kind of just so saves more money. It just saves more money. We're going to have to pay 2000 But look at the profits you're already making. Yeah, yeah. The, Which is, you're not going to get near this profit level in Kiwewin. No, no, we don't expect to. No, no. but you, if you could be making this your next franchise and you're looking at that kind of profit per month, and then you go to another community, you're going to triple your revenue. Mm -hmm. But uh, double our revenue is fine for us for now until we... Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, if you don't have the ambition, <laughs> then I can't be behind you. I, 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 I built a huge franchise. By thinking big, not small. So, for that, that comment, I'm out. I don't think you need us. I see you. If you're making six thousand in four months, you have enough money to do it at twenty-five. Why are you giving up ten percent when you're doing fine without without us? So I'm out simply because I have confidence that you're successful without us. idea I have a friend in Peck River she started her, her own restaurant she made pizza um, she, she made a lot of uh, different variety of dishes um, <clears throat> and the reason why she did that is because people will get tired of the same dish um, <clears throat> they, they want variety <clears throat> so you're only one month in your operation two uh, <clears throat> or two months uh, I guarantee you, people they will want <coughs> some more variety. And, and wings. They, <coughs> yeah, wings. I know. Wings. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is a lot of work running your own restaurant. <coughs> and uh, it is a lot of hours running your own restaurant. Um, she ran it for the summer, and um, she just couldn't do it anymore. She, she, uh, she had to shut down her business. Uh, <coughs> So it is, does require a lot of time and commitment running these type of restaurants in, in our communities <coughs> um, and, and, to, and to take it like a franchise and to expand it to other communities is going to take a lot of work. Um, it's doable. <coughs> it is doable, <coughs> uh, but I'm not a restaurant guy. <laughs> Remember when we talked and we and we figured that you guys were making money and there was a good possibility they're going to say, why do you need us anyways? I already decided before we came in here that we're not going to take an offer. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
they just want a free free advertisement on the show. They just they want a free marketing. <laughs> just to get the advertising on the show, free marketing. That's worth it. <laughs> now get out of here. <laughs> hustlers, eh? Hustlers. Sneaky college students. They should have said that we'll invest in a drone to deliver pizzas to us. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, that would have been a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's happening right now. They're developing that delivery drones. I'm the dream team. You know, like they had they were enthusiastic. But they really had low research. I, they I like did, but they were their enthusiasm was there. I like the anti bakery. I like the aunt, yeah, the anti bakery I think was the best. Uh, yeah. 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 The anti bakery? Yeah. From pre because of their presentation well, as well overall they or had their idea. Better, uh, I like the idea but they also ha seemed to have more research on like they knew what their costs were. They were missing some research pieces of course. Um, not of course, but they were. Yeah. So I felt that they were a good combination of a, an idea plus research. Uh -huh. Plus, I, and then the TP pizza. Okay, so they would have been second place? And then the Dream Team third. And the Dream Team third? Yes. Yeah. We had Dorothy and Andrea, they felt that the Aunt, the Auntie's Bakery was their best, like they felt there was a winner. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Um, <clears throat> I was thinking, what was the first one again? The first one was the the group that did the the greenhouse. No. No. Um, oh, the video games, the up north video, oh, video yeah, game comparison. Video games, yes, um, where they the community video game for First Nation only <coughs> gaming platform. Yeah. Um, no, I have to agree. The uh, the bakery, three girls, the bakery, okay. the online app, online mm -hmm. website. Uh -huh. um, that was the most realistic pitch. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, okay. Blue. Blue. Pink. Pink. Turquoise. Turquoise. Burgundy. Burgundy. Orange. Orange. Beige. Beige. Green. Green. Purple. Eliminated. Black. Blue. Pineapple. Peach. Kiwi. Dragon. Cantaloupe. Watermelon. Plum again. I can't. Pumpkin. Pumpkin right now. Eliminated. Countries around the world. And start. Switzerland. Russia. United Kingdom. North Korea. Canada. <laughs> Germany. Brazil. Belgium. Eliminated. Uh, <laughs> vegetables. Lettuce. Celery. Carrots. Get to beans. <laughs> <laughs> Animals that live on land. Deer. <laughs> a giraffe, moose, penguin, deer, deer. Uh, <laughs> the champion, ladies and gentlemen, elimination out of 15. We got the winner. Perfect. Good job.